It's important that the bandsaw blade be perfectly parallel to the miter bar slot on your bandsaw to ensure optimum performance of the Yankee Slice system and to ensure that there's no possible bandsaw blade drift issues. This is not an issue on most of the newer bandsaw systems since the manufacturers take great care to align the bandsaw blade relative to the miter bar slot on their bandsaw systems. However, recently a customer contacted us who was making wedges using the AccuWedge system and he was having trouble getting perfect joints. There were minor gaps in his wedges. After reviewing my previous video on optimizing the performance of the AccuWedge system, he determined the issue was none of those issues, but was actually the alignment of his bandsaw blade relative to the miter bar slot on his bandsaw table. After realigning the bandsaw table, the systems work perfectly. This video will describe the procedures to check the alignment of the bandsaw blade relative to the miter bar slot and correct any potential issues and provide for the optimum performance of the AccuSlice and AccuWedge systems. The AccuSlice system mounts in a miter bar slot on the bandsaw table. It's important that this miter bar slot be perfectly parallel to the bandsaw blade. We begin by installing the AccuSlice system by locking it into the miter bar slot on the bandsaw. We next attach the carriage and attach a block of double sided tape. We then move the wood and begin cutting through the board. As we cut, look at the back edge of the bandsaw blade. You can stop the bandsaw blade if you want to better view this. Due to the cutting edge of the kerf of the blade, if you see the gap on both sides of the blade, your system is lined and no further adjustment is necessary. If the back edge of the blade is touching the edge of the board, the back edge of the blade will rub the board and this will result in the blade moving, resulting in bandsaw blade drift. The drift may be only minor, a few thousands of an inch, but when using the Yankee wedge, a deviation of a few thousandths or 0.1 degree is critical. There's one very simple fix to this problem. Normally the tires on the bandsaw blades are not flat. They have a slight convex shape to them. By moving the position of the bandsaw blade left or right on the tires on the bandsaw wheel, you can change the angle of the blade ever so slightly. This may be enough to solve a minor problem. However, my preference is always to run my bandsaw blades centered on the tires on the bandsaw wheel. I prefer this because my blades are always centered on the tires, even when I change between different widths of the bandsaw blades. Another method was suggested by Terry Tajin. It involves attaching a small magnet to the bandsaw blade behind the teeth of the blade and then attaching a straight uh, stainless steel rod or a ruler. I attach this magnet to my blade, in this case I have a three quarter inch wide blade which is much easier than the, the narrower blades, then attach this stainless steel rod to the blade. So now I can either measure the distance from the uh, bar to the miter bar slot or if I have my AccuSlice system installed I can move the system up so that the rail is very close to the bar and prove that it is perfectly parallel. This problem rarely occurs on most bandsaws. Most bandsaws manufactured today are factory aligned and they hold their accuracy. I have three bandsaws in our shops. Two are Laguna 1412s which are less than three years old and I also have a jet 14 inch bandsaw that is more than 20 years old. And I have not needed to realign any of these systems. However, in some of the older bandsaws, it may be necessary to realign the bandsaw table if they are out of alignment. This involves removing the bandsaw blade table from the bandsaw and adjusting or realigning the trunnions on the bottom of the bandsaw table so that the miter bar slot becomes perfectly parallel to the bandsaw blade. Since every model a bandsaw is different. You will need to review your bandsaw blade manual to determine how the bandsaw blade table can be realigned. 